Hello, hello. There we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome. So good to see you. We have about two minutes and then we'll get started. I hope you're all feeling good. Um, remember your video if you want to start it and remember the chat window or if you want to put music on in your background. Um, all, all good things. I'm going to try to make this practice today all about like every angle. We're going to try to work out every every angle. This is um, my name is Shauna and this is Bar. Oh, I love it. Good morning. Good morning, Ellen. Okay, so it's uh, we have two minutes until class officially begins. Um, I just have a mat and my countertop. I hadn't planned on any other equipment, but you are welcome to have anything that uh, fits your, you know, what you find helpful. Um, dumbbells, I, I was really thinking that a lot of the upper body would be um, more plank, a variety of planks, um, which you can do on a raised uh, surface or on the mat. So somehow I think I wrote a no equipment class. <laughs> <laughs> which is, you know, if you know me, I like tools and such, but um, I think that we're not, we're really not using anything special. Let me double check now that I'm saying that. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think we're gonna um, just our body and a mat and potentially um, some kind of something that um, is like a bar, a ballet bar. So countertop, table, chair. If you are using a chair, just make sure it can't surprise you and move on you. I'm so happy to see you all. It is officially 9.30, so we'll get started. Again, my name is Shauna. This is bar, it's a strength class. We do a lot, um, and it seems like it shouldn't be as hard as it is often. So I want you to take the breaks you need, sips of water when you need. Just gonna move this out of my way. So good to see you all. And everyone can see me and hear me. I just wanna make sure. Okay, hopefully you would have told me <laughs> by now. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so we're just gonna warm up. So I want you to check in. Check in with your shoulders. Check in with your neck. Every single day is different. You can make bigger movement with your arms, so. And depending on what you've already done this week or this morning or over the weekend, you know, I want you to really honor what it is you need and where you need to maybe ramp it up, where you need to back, but kind of back it up, take it down a notch. Okay, let's cross the body, arms out to the sides and across. Go at your pace, your range of motion. I'm going to let my arms relax. And again, just kind of check in. So nothing that we do today should increase tension at all. You should leave this class feeling good and appropriate um, fatigue that's sort of like releasing, but also energizing. I'm just gonna lift and lower my heels, just checking in with the um, calves. We'll be working them in a moment. And then let's bring a knee up and take it out to the side and across your body. Maybe let it arc. So it just depends on your hip. Okay. And then hold it still and circle around in the ankle. Notice if you're locking your standing leg. Exhale. We'll shake it out. So I'm just going to let my leg go forward and back. And then I'm going to take it out to the side and across the midline. I'm so excited. I feel like it's been forever since I taught. <laughs> it was just last Thursday or something. I'm gonna come into a forward fold, sending hips back, bend, bending the knees, lessening the bend, feeling the effects of the hip opener. Good, and then other side. So I'm wearing um, sticky socks. I just realized that they are inside out. <laughs> I obviously wasn't looking when I put my socks on. So 
So I'm gonna take my leg out to the side and across. I'll try to fix that without that taking up too much class time. But you wanna feel like you're adhering you know, to the floor, that you're not gonna slip at all. So you could totally wear socks and shoes. And then a circle. Both directions. And then take the leg forward and back. You could also totally do this barefoot. Okay, as long as you're comfortable on your surface. And I'm gonna take the leg across, trying not to run into my wall here. Good. Okay, and then forward fold or some kind of uh, stretch. Oh, I guess they're not inside out. Just look it. Okay, and then some sort of forward fold, bend the knees, and we'll get started. Um, upright with a turnout. So we'll start here and then we're going to narrow it. So I have my legs turned out, hips, knees, ankles, middle, toes, all going the same direction. And I'm just going to lift and lower. So the range of motion might feel a little bit small here. There's not, you, for most of us, we can't go very high and the floor comes quickly. So I'm just trying to stabilize my ankles, activate more than the calves. So the calves are going to turn on pretty Immediately, see if you can turn on your quads, your inner thighs, base of glutes, zip up. You could always keep your hand on what helps you balance or maybe take your arms out in front or above or to your heart. Good, let's do about six more here. I'm lengthening and trying to engage, hugging in toward the midline, Let's last three here. Two, one, I'm gonna bring my feet Together, let's do a few where heels are clicked together, toes turned out. See if you notice any sort of rolling of the ankles. So can you root across your feet equally as you lift and lower? So we're gonna elevate and lower. And again, for me, it always feels like the floor comes quickly. So try to land deliberately. Exhale, release any tension in your neck. Try to feel this connection to your abdominals. Head positioning. Good. Couple more here, and then we're going to shift again. I'm still in this turnout. But now I'm going to bring, you can select which foot do you want in front, which is behind, okay? And they're still in the turnout. See if you can root down evenly. Lift up, stabilize, excuse me. Center your weight, let's lower halfway. Half, come back up. Or just don't touch the ground if you can help it. Keep hugging in toward the midline. Feel there's a little bit of a difference between the feet as far as where you feel the pressure. Can you even it out? And as you work to center and equal out that effort, where else do you feel it? <clears throat> let's do a few more. I'm gonna to go to single leg here. Okay, so again, it doesn't matter which one you choose. Just remember, okay? So I'm gonna stand on my back leg, lifting the front, and I'm gonna lower and lift. And I'm gonna to try to not lean. So I'm centering. So there's all kinds of work here. And I know it's in your calf, but hopefully you're feeling it elsewhere too. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the glutes, your thighs, your glutes, your abs. Let's do two more here. And I'm going to shift to my front leg. So you're getting both. Okay, so single leg. Again, I'm trying to stabilize the joints and support that stability with length, with lift. Good. Let's do about four more here. And then we'll be switching which leg is in front. Two more. And release. You can shake it out, but switch out. Okay. So if you took ballet, or you still take ballet, and you're teach ballet, right? I'll, this, is, this might feel familiar. So we're lifting, only going um, halfway down, or just not to the floor. Lower and lift. Already, it should be feeling that you're building heat in your body. Good, again, let's do a few more here, and then we'll do the single leg work again. So I started with my back leg. That's what I'm gonna do first this time as well. Okay, and I'm gonna lift my front leg. You don't have to point. 
Okay, I'm trying, I can see myself. So I'm trying not to lean into my standing hip. Even though I'm using the um, countertop to assist with balance. One more. Okay, and in that effort to not lean, your outer glutes, your abdominals have to kick on. So I've switched legs. I'm constantly trying to refine, to share the workload. Good. We're almost there. Our next one is going to be a stretch strengthening. Okay, so let's do three more here. <laughs> See if you notice it within your body. You know, where can you level out your effort? And then release, shake it out. So I'm going to come into my, um, still working the calves, but now at a lean in position. So your arms can be straight. They can be slightly bent. But I just want you to lower and lift. And get, like as though you're in a plank, I want you to really engage your, all your muscles in your torso, okay, in your legs. Check in with your neck. I'm gonna bring my legs closer together so I can lift one, okay? And then lower and lift. You wanna scan your body and notice where do you feel any wobbling? What can you engage to help stabilize without tension? Let's do two more. And then I'm going to do a few where I'm doing both feet are down. And then I keep switching legs, trying not to lean. So really hugging in toward the midline. I'm constantly tweaking my position. Good. Let's do about three or four more. Woo! <laughs> One more. And release. So taking a stretch, I'm gonna have one foot forward, one foot back. Lengthen, getting a stretch in that back calf. I'm pushing, so I'm pushing my bar and kind of pressing it downward to assist that spinal length. Make sure the work is coming from your leg, your glutes, and your sides. And then switch. With my feet, it's like I'm trying to grab the mat to pull it up. Again, maybe add that back bend element. <sighs> good. And maybe any other stretch that feels good before we move on to the next exercise. I'm so happy to see you all. So grateful you're here. Okay. So when you come back to standing, your calves should feel <laughs> Like they've, they've received some work. Okay, so we're going to um, come into a zipped up position. You're always welcome to use a rolled up towel or a ball. I'm gonna um, lengthen and lift, elevating the heels, but now I'm gonna focus with the knees being bent. Okay, so we're gonna stay here for a moment and just get your bearings. So your hips, knees, ankles, middle toes have that sense of alignment where you feel the quads, the glutes working together, your inner thighs, your outer thighs. So you want to feel front, back, and the sides as equally as you can, all working together. Now let's go down for two and up for two. Let's do that three more times. Down for two. Are you feeling warm? I am. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two more. Something's just caught. One more time. On your next one, I want you to hold. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little side to side action with the hips. So we're gonna side to side. And that kind of quiver. Okay, side to side. Now even though I'm going side to side, I wanna keep the weight evenly distributed on, in my feet so that the work is more around all the muscles in the pelvis and the midsection. So I, want, I know I'm gonna feel my thighs and the glutes, right? But can we also activate those obliques? Can you work to find length? So at this point, you might feel like, oh my gosh, this is so much. I mean, when are we going to be done? Well, I'm going to add on. So you can always shake it out and come back in. So I'm going to go down, down, up, up with that side to side action. 
Okay, so a couple more times doing that. Side to side, side to side. One more and then we'll shake it out. Come up, woo, come up all the way, shake it out. We're gonna come back in. <sighs> I know we want to, right? We're so eager, eager to do it. All right, so just remember, as you're coming into this position, to try to keep ear, shoulder, hip, heel, and align it. So I'm still zip together. Lengthen as you descend. Now we're going to circle. So our theme is we're trying to work at every angle, okay? So in every position, we're going to try to find as much oh, of the nitty gritty as we can. So I'm circling one way. Find your depth. We're going to switch the, um, directions in a second, okay? So we're just still trying to stabilize and change the direction. You can always take a moment, regroup, and return, okay? So you really make sure this practice fits you. <laughs> Couple more times. So I'm circling, it's like I'm digging in. One more. Woo! And then come up, shake it out. Or just make sure you always want to make sure you feel even. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do um, zip up, but we're going to tilt back if possible. So what I mean is we're going to this zipped up position, but we're going to tilt back. So only take that option as long as whatever you're holding on to is secure. Otherwise, you'll get a great workout. Okay, but stay upright. Okay, so if your equipment allows you to do this, you know, you're stable. I'm zipped up, I'm lengthened. I'm gonna come down, descending, and then I'm gonna tilt back. So I wanna um, tuck my tail, engage the abdominals, and now I'm going down and up. So if you're able, and if you have something secure enough to do this, you can feel it just gets your muscles at a slightly different angle. It's really intense. So zip up, lengthen, keep tucking the tail, pulling your abdominals up. Good. We're gonna hold the next position and do mini tucks, little tuck. Engage your inner thighs, engage your abdominals, your glutes, lengthen your torso. Last four, three, two, and carefully come up. <sighs> Release, shake it out. Let's give our legs just a little bit of a, a, a respite. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna do a series series of um, push-ups. I'm going to do them at the bar. It's totally your call. If you want to do them at the bar or on your mat or something in between, okay? So I just want you to find your right height. I'm zipping my legs together. My hands, okay, on the surface, but I'm hugging in toward the midline. I say that over and over. Check in with your neck. Let's go in slow and out slow. So let's do this like a count of four. Okay, so inhale and go four, three, two, one, and back it up slowly. Two, three, four. A couple more like that. So you're coming in for four, three, two, one, backing it up for four, three, two. Ask yourself, are you engaging your um, inner thighs, your low deep abs, your sides? On the next push-up, I want to hold, hold the depth and do some pulses. Three, two, hold here. Little pulse, pulse, pulse. Constantly check in. Are you engaging your entire body to work all together? Check in with your neck, your shoulders, just the sensations. Just scan your body. Let's do another five, four. Can we exit slowly? Four. Three, two, one, stretch. Take a moment. Maybe take your arms back behind you. So we're going to come into uh, lower body again. We're going to do some lunges, okay, with a potential uh, variation. Um, again, it'll depend on if you have a real solid something to hold on to.
Okay, so if you don't, then I just really want you to um, stay in the, in the position. It'll be plenty challenging. This is just sort of a bonus. So I'm going to take my right foot forward, left foot back. Currently, I want to make sure I have access to my countertop. So that's why I'm facing this way. I want to feel like I'm grabbing the floor with my feet. Okay, so my right foot is pressing down and back. My left foot is trying to grab the mat and pull it forward. Both knees bend. Make any adjustments as you start to do these lunges. You know, make it, maybe you need a little bit more width between the feet or a little bit more or less length. Stay low on your next one. And again, see if, see if you can find that engagement in your inner thighs, your glutes. So what I'm trying to do is level out my hips. I'm gonna press down on my countertop because I wanna help activate my sides. So I wanna find that, I'm gonna do little pulses. Pulse. Good, six more pulses here. Five, four, three. Now here's this little variation, okay? So I'm gonna hold on to my countertop, but I wanna make sure that the engagement's coming from below and not above my shoulders. And I'm gonna lift, I'm gonna have to lean forward to do this. I'm gonna lift my back leg, okay? And I'm gonna extend it. And I'm gonna pulse through it. And it should be a lot of glute engagement. So my front thigh is working and my glutes are working. Still trying to keep my hips level. Woo! We need those plank push-up muscles to help us here. Four, three, two. Come back to your lunge. Grab the floor, grab your mat. And now we're gonna go down slow, up slow, down slow. Keep, this may not be your thing, but my back hip constantly wants to drop. So I have to really work to keep my hips level. I'm gonna pulse it out again. Okay, so in my low face, I level up. Pulse, maybe with the counter, maybe arms reaching. Woo, yeah. Let's do eight, six, four, three, two. Exit carefully, mindfully, please. And then before we switch sides, check in. Give yourself a moment. So as you're doing that, I'm just gonna show, I hope you can see, I tend to have so much um, dark clothing. <laughs> okay, so in a moment, we're gonna be switching. And for me, it's gonna be, um, my left foot is gonna be forward, okay? But just here, I don't know if you can see it, like where my hands, this is what happens to me a lot in my lunge. My back leg hip will drop, okay? And if we're doing that, then we're, we, can, we have the potential to stress, right, around the hip flexor or all those connections in the hip joint. So you wanna make sure that you're feeling this appropriately, okay? So I have my left foot forward, right foot back, and then I grab the mat, I wanna trigger this glute, the back glute, to work with my thighs, right? Both thighs, both glutes, inner thighs, abs, all working. And I, you can hear by my, <laughs> my voice and my breath, I mean, this is, this is, I'm working, okay? So we'll do one more here. And then as you find your next one, make any little adjustments that you need for our pulsing. And you can hold the, you know, if you're having the, um, your tool, your countertop table, just activate your sides. Check in with your neck over and over and over again. Good, now I'm gonna hold. Okay, so holding this position is plenty work. If you feel like you've got something you can hold onto, then we're going to lean forward, watch your front knee, lengthen, engage your sides, I'm lifting that back leg. So make any little adjustments and then pulse, pulse, pulse. Everything about this is a, a challenge, okay? So keep going, try to level out your distribution of your weight. Good, let's do four more, three, Two, I'm setting my back foot down again. Regroup, going bigger, bigger range. So what I'm always trying to do with any props, any tools, and it doesn't matter if it's a dumbbell or if it's a wall or floor, I'm trying to reference versus rely, okay? 
okay? The next one we're gonna hold, finish out with those pulses. Again, you choose your position with your arms. Ah. Good, last four, three, two, one, careful exit, shake it out. Again, take any stretches. We're gonna um, do a quad stretch here in just a second. Woo. I hope you're all feeling good. Okay, so pick a leg. You're gonna stand on a leg, lift the other one. Maybe you're gonna grab a strap to help um, hold your foot. Engage those inner thighs. With the stretch, same goes. You're trying to keep your hips level, lengthen. I hope you feel the stretch in a big way as far as it's from the hip to the knee, all the muscles in between, okay? Even zip up the abs and lengthen, and it should enhance your stretch. And then we'll do the second side. So see, it's so easy to drop that, um, to drop a hip. So I'm trying to level, keep my knees held close together, lengthen, maybe, maybe a slight tuck of the tail, Breathe, recovery, another breath. Anytime you want, if, you're, if you drink throughout the class, just make it small sips because you don't want to feel sloshy belly. Okay, so we're gonna do a few more um, push-ups here at the bar if you're doing that um, or you're on the mat, and then I'll be bringing the camera potentially to a lower level, um, and we'll be working from the mat, okay? So this time, push up focus rather than plank. So hands um, hugging in toward the midline. I guess we did do push ups as well already. Um, lengthen. Now you could keep both feet down, or as long as your hips don't veer, you can lift a leg. And we're gonna go in for two and out for two. Couple more, just like this. So every time when I look at myself here, in the camera, I'm like, oh, okay, I need to zip up my abs more, do less of a back bend because that's my tendency. On the next one, we're gonna hold and do some of those pulses. Again, and make sure your work is coming from an appropriate place. Exhale. So you want your sides, your abdominals, nothing between your ears and shoulders. Good. Push away. If you're going single leg, switch. Okay, so I'm trying to still keep myself centered as though both feet are down. Lengthen, so I'm coming in for two and out. After this, we'll take a moment and then we'll come back in, but we'll do more of a tricep focus. So a narrower um, position for the elbows, for the hands. Good. Keep going. Keep Noticing if you need to center your weight. Level the hips, zip up the abs. I can't feel like me remember if we pulsed, but you're welcome to do so. I'm gonna do a couple more here. One more for me. And then release. Stretch out, lengthen through your torso, lengthen the backs of your legs. So tricep push-ups tend to be really, really challenging. And they also tend to um, have this, sort of the shoulders wanna um, tip forward. So no matter what, you wanna try to keep that sense of broadness across your collarbones. So forego depth, okay, to maintain your best alignment. It will have long-term positive benefit, you know, way, way more than trying to come in really deep and sacrifice your shoulders. Okay, so my hands are narrower, lengthen through the spine, and I'm trying to keep my elbows really close to my body. And then same action, coming in deliberately and going back. Make sure your wrists are okay with this. I will pulse the next one, okay? So I'm hugging in, trying to keep those elbows close and pulsing. 
So you should feel the effort from a different angle, a different aspect of your body, okay, your back, your sides, your, the back of your arms. Again, engage your inner thighs, low, deep abs. I'm trying to imagine that there's a strap holding my elbows close to my body. Let's do four more. Three, two, one, push away. And recover. Hands can go back behind, open across through your collarbones. Okay, check in with your neck. I'm gonna come down to the mat and build on that heat that we hopefully have in our shoulders and our arms. And I think that the rest of the practice will be, <laughs> sorry you guys, from the mat. Yeah, okay. So I'd like to do some variations um, in side plank, which I know is really tricky, okay, because everybody's shoulders are different. So one, you can do any other variation of plank or upper body exercises that feel best to you. If you want to explore side plank, I'm going to work a little bit in the um, alignment cueing. It's really easy for us to sink. Okay, so first, make sure your bones, you know, your elbow, your uh, wrist, everything's comfortable. And so feel free to put extra padding. And then see if you can share the work, okay, with your entire side. I have my knees bent at the moment. Also check in. How does your neck feel? It should feel free, okay? So right here is the first very variation. You're in a, a side plank, okay? And then everything else is bonus, okay? So I want you to really engage here. Stay here or add on by lift. So I'm pressing into my feet and lifting my hips, okay? And what I'm trying to do here with any tweaks in my alignment here is to make sure I feel this center line, inner thighs, center of the spine, through the crown of my head. Stay here. Maybe lift your top leg, okay? You could do a little forward and back with it. Oh, isn't that special? <laughs> okay, so you could keep your knees bent or I'm, I'm, I may make, make these little adjustments here. I'm gonna straighten both legs and then I can explore again, lifting the top leg and it can go forward Woo, and back. Okay, your top arm can assist your head. Okay, so if you have any neck tension, offer support. <sighs> yeah, everything about this is work. Do we miss our dumbbells? <laughs> couple more, wherever you are, couple more seconds. Remember to exit mindfully. <sighs> In between sides. Okay, so I promise we'll do the second side. But hopefully you don't mind a little pause. Come onto your belly, or if it's not appropriate for you to be on your belly, come onto all fours. So you could do um, some kind of back bend there or the opposite arm leg reach, okay, to challenge. But we're just going to lengthen through the spine. So I'm reaching through my legs, lengthening through the spine, checking in with the neck, I'm gonna lower down, okay, and reach the arms out in front. Take your arms, the width that you need for your shoulders to feel okay, okay? Now what I always like to do is to turn the arms so that my thumbs point up or even away from each other, okay? So I'm lengthening, you can be lower, to the ground, I just don't want to sound muffled. Lengthen, lengthen, and as long as your shoulders are okay with it, pick one arm up, lower, and then the other. You're alternating. Now we want to do this feeling a connection to the sides. So hopefully this exercise is reaffirming the work in side plank, okay? So I want that feeling to feel familiar. 
It's not in the low back, okay? It's not in your neck. It's not even um, coming from tension around the shoulder blades. This should feel empowered strength. Now, pause with both hands down. Reach through your legs. Really engage your inner thighs, your outer glutes, the center of your abdominals, and see if it's possible to lift both arms. And then lower. Remember, this is not from tension. We're all about empowered strength. So I'm lowering and lifting. And I'm trying to keep everything else about me stable. Couple more. Feet, legs are staying down. Okay, one more. And then rest. Press back carefully to child's pose. Something that just feels like a nice release. So are we ready? <laughs> goodness for second side now this is absolutely uh, helpful and supportive to building physical strength right but when we do it with such um, care and integrity honoring our body honoring the position then it has this um, continuous effect deeper within ourselves right that that sense of empowerment that we have some something that we control right we have a say in. i just think that's so helpful in all of life and especially now okay so position on your arm and notice if you feel kind of you know is your energy going away from your body or are you helping to lighten the load on your shoulder on your elbow wrist okay there it's subtle and yet it's dramatic, okay? So I want you to feel this work. Hopefully that feels similar to what we just did in that Superman variation, Superwoman variation, Superhuman, okay? Check in with your neck. Stay here, all right? Honor your, you know, you might feel different on this side. So be where you need to be. I'm gonna engage and elevate the hips. Keep checking in. Maybe elevate your top leg and start to move it. Now, if I'm moving this leg, I want to make sure the rest of my body's not all shifting and reacting, but I feel I have a say in this without it being in the other extreme so gripped that I'm tense. Okay, so we want to have that internal flexibility. Okay, maybe, so I'm using my top arm to assist. I'm going to straighten both legs. I still want to have that hugging in toward the midline. Top leg might come up. Top arm might support the head. Breathe in, breathe. I'm completely quivering, okay, but I still feel really strong. Okay, breathe, lengthen. Feel every muscle working together. Let's do a couple more. And careful descent. Again, I'm going to come down onto my belly. Okay. A different variation with the arms. Okay. So the little things I'm doing first, you know, with my legs, is I I go into a little bit of internal rotation. I I like that, but that's not. There's not one way here. What you need to do with your legs is to feel elongated so that you have space in your low back and you can engage effectively the inner thighs, the low deep backs. So now I'm gonna take my arms down, okay? Down toward my toes. Again, so you decide on your um, mid to upper back positioning. I care most that you have space around your neck and shoulders, okay? so. Hands might be at your hips. Maybe you interlace, okay? Um, maybe, so it just depends on you, okay? Your arms um, straight. What I'm gonna do, I'm starting out interlaced and just opening up through my chest. Lengthen through the spine. I'm keeping my legs down, okay? 
Okay, then I'm gonna stop the interlacing, but I'm gonna keep my arms straight. And I'm hugging in toward the midline. Okay, so I'm just like I'm grabbing. Okay, good. They go, my arms go a little wide, and then they come toward each other. Wide toward each other. Over and over and over again. Check in, please, with how you're feeling in your shoulders. Okay, so we're just trying to support the strength in the shoulders and the space in the shoulder joint. We're trying to protect it. So I'm hugging and turning the midline in a way. Hug, hug. Three more. Two. Holding it. Bend and extend through the arms. Bend and reach. Bend and reach. Bend and reach. So I'm trying to keep my arms higher than my body, but notice where my shoulders are. Okay, so shoulders. It's like you're trying to bring your shoulders maybe, I, I mean, at least to the level of your elbows, if not slightly higher. Okay, so bend and reach. We're still hugging in toward the midline. Do we feel our triceps? I hope so. And the sides and the back muscles and the abdominals. Good, four, three, two, hold. Hug into the midline, pulse, eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Release, rest. I hope that we're working every angle, right? Ah, is it nap time? No, not yet. <laughs> At least not for me yet. Okay, breathe in and breathe. Check in. <sighs> Carefully press, press to child's pose or just something. I think I shared with you last week that the doggies are bringing in like all this grass and it's getting on my yoga mat. Okay, so we're going to do, your, well one, you get to select, right, your right option. So you're either going to do straight arm plank, forearm plank, or this transition from straight arm to forearm, okay? But we want to do it in such a way that we feel we have um, a sense of ease and grace within the body. We don't want to feel clomp, 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 clomp. You know, so we don't want to be heavy in our body. So you're going to pick. Maybe you're in um, all fours. Okay, remember the hugging in toward the midline. It's so critical. Or your, your straight arm, straight legs. Okay, or you're here, right, throughout. So I want you to pick your variation. I'm going to cue the moving plank. All right. So I'm going to start out in straight arm plank. Hugging in toward the midline and bending my elbows. I'm trying to have as minimal shift as possible. I'm separating my feet just a little bit to assist this. And I'm going to come down one forearm and then the other. And then coming back up. Now I'm going to switch. Which arm I do first? So forearm, forearm, straight arm. And I'm going to keep alternating. Which arm is the lead? <clears throat> and then, as I keep going, I want to refine. I want to have less shift with my hips. I'm just going to do a couple more. Because as soon as I start to feel like I'm landing on the edge of heavy, then I know I'm losing some integrity in the position. So this is my last one. And then I'm going to rest. Oh, that was always hard. Couple breaths. We're going to do it again. Aren't you excited? But this will be the last set of that, okay? But this time I'm going to start in forearm plank rather than straight arm, which I guess is a little meaner, I think, now that I'm thinking about it. Huh. Because you have to come up first. All right. So maybe you're holding. Okay, so I'm coming down to my forearms and I'm letting my heart melt to hug in toward the midline and really feel the connection to the sides. So I've got my strong forearm plank. I'm going to pick an arm and come up. Okay? And then lower down. And then switch. Remember to ascend and descend with as much care as possible. And I'm alternating, 
right? Which arm is first? We do one more each side. Yeah, really on that edge here. Last time, I come down, I'm staying down. And then I'm going to go lower all the way down. And breathe and breathe and breathe. Okay. Let's check in with our arms. So, so I'm in a seated position, bringing the arms back behind, maybe interlacing fingers, just stretching out through the arms. We're going to stretch out the front and the back. A little recovery. And we have abs and glutes, as though we haven't already been working them a ton throughout our class. You can reach the arms up. Maybe stretch tricep and side. And then switch. Barracuda. <laughs> yes, I look innocent, I think it's really unfair. Yeah, not, not so sweet all the time, I guess, right? Check in, cross the body. And other side. Okay, so some maybe more traditional um, abdominal uh, glute work. We have some time to do a little bit more in depth than maybe we've done in previous classes because I'm one to easily run out of time. Okay, so we're gonna lay on our back. And first thing you wanna do is just position your body in a way that you feel a sense of ease around your neck. It's really, really so critical um, that we recognize our own patterns and try to allow our body to not tense up in the places that it, it's just so used to, okay? So I'm bringing my hands here to my ribs and pelvis. You can choose for this position if you want your pelvis to be neutral or if you want to be in a little bit of a tucked position, that imprint, okay? So you just make sure that whatever you choose, it's your abdominals that are participating either way, okay? So I'm going to be neutral, bring the legs closer together, and I'm trying to keep everything else stable as I take one foot up, lower, and then the other. And as I'm trying to maintain imprint, I'm trying to keep my sacrum right? The, the back side of my pelvis, even and level. I'm trying to not shift my weight. So if I were on a, I think I like to think about this a lot, like if I'm on the water or in a, on a paddle board or something, I wouldn't want to tip right and left. Okay, so once you have that, you can shift your hands anytime to behind your head, head, neck, shoulders come up. And I'm just going to walk alternating which leg comes up. My hand positioning, okay, with my head is to make sure that I'm focusing my effort and strength in my midsection. Okay, now I want to go like this. I'm going to bring one leg up, add the other, then lower and lower, kind of like our plank to forearm plank, okay? And then as soon as you kind of get the flow of that alternate, which leg is first, okay? So I'm, and if you notice, I'm stopping. So my knee comes over my hip. It's easy to bring, you know, to lose that control and for the knee to go more over the belly or chest. And as I'm talking, I'm losing my, <laughs> which leg did I do first? And it's obviously not critical. I'm just trying to be even in my challenge. Good. Once you feel even, land in this tabletop position. Okay, so legs are sit together, knees are over hips, head, neck, shoulders are up, but you have this internal support. Now I'm gonna keep the legs together and I'm gonna slowly take them toward the mat. I'm not gonna land. And I wanna feel the control. So again, you wanna maintain your pelvic position, whether you chose neutral 
okay? Or imprint, doesn't matter. They're both hard, okay? You wanna know where do you feel the most secure for your lower back, for your neck, for wherever it is you feel vulnerable, you wanna feel that you have that support. So a couple more times. Hold if you can, rest anytime you need. If you're still okay, I'm gonna reach one leg, okay? And I'm just alternating. And I'm trying to stay level. Again, we're on that paddle board. We don't wanna tip in. So we wanna feel that we're hugging in toward the midline, okay, without tension in the neck and shoulders. Do a couple more each side. One more. So again, can you feel it's so easy for the body to get into a zigzaggy kind of action. I'm gonna reach both, both legs simultaneously. Maybe the range of motion is a little less. It's okay. I'll do a couple more. Really share the load with as many muscles as you can. I'm gonna hold my legs away. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a little, little flutter, flutter, flutter. Oh my goodness, last six, five, four, woo, three, staple pelvis. Last one. Oh my goodness. Knees come in. Maybe massage your lower back. Take a moment. Let your breath return to more a sense of ease. Okay, before we go into um, lifting and in that more lower abdominal focus, let's go into some glute work, okay? So we'll start out with the legs zipped together. Um, feet are, so the closer your feet are to your body, the less likely your hamstrings are gonna try to take over. So if you feel like you can share the load well, between your glutes and your um, hamstrings, then you're welcome to take your feet further away. Okay, but if you tend to, you know, if they tend to cramp, keep your feet closer. So you need to find your good starting point. Okay, shoulders are relaxed. Okay, and we're just gonna engage inner thighs, um, glutes, low deep abs to lift up and lower. Lift up and lower, keep going. Good, hug those shoulder blades toward each other as you lower and lift. Keep your glutes up on the next one and do little squeezes, squeeze, squeeze. Check in with your neck, with your shoulders and just make sure you're not oofing from there, okay? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. <clears throat> if you're holding something in between your inner thighs, use that. If not, imagine that you are Okay, keep squeezing. 10, nine, <clears throat> good. Five, four, three, two, hold, 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 hold. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk my feet a little closer to my body. Okay, so we're challenging the glutes, the hamstrings, the abs, trying not to shift right and left as I lift a leg. Again, I'm trying to stop as the knee comes over the hip. If you cannot see yourself, don't, don't worry. Okay, you're just trying to have that sense of awareness. Um, just like before, we're trying not to shift right and left, which is so easy to happen. But the more you try to control it, okay, you hope that that effort is coming from your inner thighs, your abdominals, your glutes, and not anywhere around your shoulders. So you can test this out, right? So by lifting your arms, okay? So really keep that tail Slightly tucked, engage your inner thighs, your glutes, trying to monitor the hip shift. Okay, a couple more. When you feel even, carefully lower down, and you can hug your knees in. Just know that it's so common that the hamstrings will want to take over. They're just really accustomed to it. So the more we can kind of stay connected, to the glutes and to the abdominals and share the load, um, the less those hamstrings are going to try to take over 
um, and work all by themselves. That's what the cramping is, is in essence, uh, you know, why it's occurring, okay? So I'm just gonna scooch back here because I love to be able to hold on to something overhead um, so that I don't go into my neck and shoulders. So I'm gonna bring my hands overhead. You can totally have your arms down by your sides. Retract the shoulder blades, lengthen through your spine. Now you definitely wanna tuck your tail, engage those inner thighs, those low abs and your glutes. Legs carefully come up and then you think lift and lower. So we're lifting the tailbone, the sacrum, okay? And then again, you go to your height, but what is really more helpful here is a slow ascent and a slow descent. So if you can ascend and pause and check in, can you keep your shoulder blades retracted? Can you keep the integrity of the work? And then <clears throat> lower down. Can you do this with such a deliberate pace that it might even surprise you? You know, the height can be this awesome bonus surprise. Like your body just feels that it can do it, but you're keeping the work in the appropriate place. So I'm two more here. And I keep focusing on retracting those shoulder blades. And then careful release. So I want to just come into some stretching here. We worked so hard. You did such a great job. I hope you're feeling really good. Check in with your neck. Maybe let the knees go side to side again. So a stretch I always love here um, from this position is to cross one knee on top of the other, no gap. And it doesn't matter which leg you start with. Then the feet come off the ground. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my feet away from each other. All right, lifting head, neck, shoulders. Now I'm gonna take hold of my calves. All right, retract your shoulder blades, separate your feet from each other. Okay, like a, I think some people would call this a whale tail. I can't remember, shoot. Anyway, so you're, you're taking your feet out to the sides away from each other. Keep lengthening through your sides. You can lower your head, neck, shoulders anytime, but you should be getting a really nice glute stretch. So you can adjust where you hold onto your legs, but you wanna feel that you're trying to send your knees away from your body, as far as away from your belly. Okay, lengthen. This should be a really nice outer glute hip stretch. <laughs> okay, and then carefully release. So however you're taking hold of your legs, your feet, you wanna make sure you're protecting your joints. I'm switching which leg is on top. Okay, so the feet already are gonna to start to veer. Okay, but the knees are gonna kinda of wanna come in. So when I come up, head, neck, shoulders, I take hold, I separate the lower legs from each other, and I'm sending my thighs or my knees, however you want to think about it, away from my body as I descend. <sighs> Love this stretch. I hope that you're feeling the point of the stretch. So we're lengthening through the sides. We're releasing tension in the glutes, but hopefully not at the expense of your neck and shoulders. So you always want to monitor your body. And then carefully <sighs> release. I'm gonna come up to a seated position. Yeah, maybe, you know, fixing hair and whatnot. That's so funny. Check in with your shoulders. <laughs> Check in with your neck. <sighs> I'm um, in a crisscross position with my lower body, um, but you can be in whatever way you want. Hands are back behind, really open the heart. So there's this other um, position that it's great as long as it feels okay on your hips, knees, ankles. Um, I'm gonna lengthen and lift the hips. Okay, so only choose this option, again, if it feels good to you. 
then lowering down. I'm gonna come into a side stretch. Check in, ooh yeah. Maybe a little twist and then an open heart. And then come up and over other side. You can always switch out which leg is in front. Coming up center, elongate, really lengthen. And then you can bring your hands down, your heart center, and give yourselves a hand. I'm so grateful, I'm so proud of all of you. There was nothing easy there. <laughs> that was a lot, a lot, a lot. So I hope you feel so good. And uh, I'm still catching my breath. <laughs> uh, but let me know if you have any questions. I try, I try to remember to post um, my schedule here, on, here and there on uh, my Facebook page. So you can always reach out to me there, or email or sell. Thank you everyone so much. I keep moving the camera here. I hope you have a great, great day.